the agenda of the AU summit in Addis Ababa, they're discussing women's rights in Africa. How do you describe women's rights in Egypt? Alongside the summit, there is several, um, several events. One of them is, we call it the Women's Summit that I already attended this week in Addis Ababa. I came back and I'm coming back. It's about how can we have women empowerment, whether economic empowerment, social empowerment, and political empowerment. Coming to Egypt, then we have to really differentiate between if we need, a, if we're talking about, for instance, women in education, so uh, and high education, there is a lot of PhDs here in women, there are a lot of doctors, a lot of scientists. If we're talking about the middle gap between actually from the primary till the uh, high, sc high school and the faculties, this is really what we are working on in Egypt to see how we empower the young girls not to drop out of education, how to empower them to, how to continue their education. But once they are in the university, so they excel. What about women's rights politically in the political process in Egypt? This is very important, how really we empower women to have a better present representation in the parliaments, to be better in the decision making and in leadership position. I think we are doing now, by constitution, we have now to at least 25% in the municipalities for women. There is also um, a quite deal of representation in the parliaments, in the new Egyptian parliament, which is much better than before. But what we are really achieving to have, aspiring to have in Africa, there is a lot of uh, women in parliament. In Rwanda, there is almost 60% women in the parliament. In South Africa, Sudan and Senegal, more than 30% in the parliament. So we really need to have more representation. But on the overall, uh, I believe that there is a lot of laws that empower women in Egypt, but we need also to change the mindset. What should the government do to provide more rights for women to be equal to men? The government should put laws that would empower the women, whether socially, economically, politically, at all levels, even as a whole issue of education, of access to health care. How can we have an infrastructure of, uh, that, that really empowers women at different levels? The rights of women in the legislation are very good. We have a lot of good legislation, but what we are saying now is that we have to, to have special legislations to empower the women to be on equal foot until actually we come to a time that there is not really discrimination between a girl and a boy.